Uh, Dr. Beck, uh, uh, hello. Um, and uh, let's right away get going. Um, uh, let me ask you a question, which I know that are lots of patients out there are continuously asking, and that is, what are the reasons, you know, why one would need a nerve test, or I think as you call it, a nerve conductivity test? Um, you know, what are some of the symptoms which appear that a person goes, ah, I need that. I, I, I should... I should go and do that test. Well, you know, that's a really common question from my patients is, you know, why should I go through all this? And basically the reason why we want to do a nerve test is to make sure that you don't have nerve damage. So how do you know if you have nerve damage? Well, the one thing I tell people is that you can have numbness, you can have weakness or pain in your hands or feet, and that's usually a sign that something's going on. And the main thing you don't want is that numbness or that nerve damage to get so bad that you can't recover it with either surgery or treatment. Okay. All right. So um, if, what do you mean by the numbness getting, getting so bad? Uh, what, what do you mean by that? Like um, um, can, you not, can you not move anymore your hands? Are they still functional or your legs? Um, and, uh, and, and uh, tell me a little more about it. Well, you know, if you have numbness, basically what it means is you have a dead sensation in your feet. You just don't feel anything. And if that happens, you know, the, the worst thing that could happen is that you can injure your feet and not even know it. For example, you could step on a tack or a nail, and then you could get a really terrible infection. The next thing you know, you'll have to have an amputation. And so that what, that's what happens with the numbness. Now, with nerve damage, you can also get weakness in your hands and feet, and that can be really bad as well. For example, if you have really bad carpal tunnel, your hand gets really weak, and then you can't do things like button your shoes or button your shirts, tie your shoes, cut up your meat, or brush your teeth. So nerve damage can cause numbness, which can make it really bad if you lose all the sensation in your feet and can be susceptible to injuries, and weakness, which can make it hard to use your hands or feet. Okay, so now at what stage, I mean, should the pain go so bad that you cannot anymore brush your teeth before you have to go and get a, um, um, a nerve test, or should you do it way before? What's the deal? Oh, yeah, sooner the better. You know, if nerve damage becomes permanent, it's just that. We can't get it better, so we want to catch the condition early so that if you need medicines or if you need surgery, we can recommend it before things get too far gone. Okay. Well, wonderful. So um, I guess that's it about, you know, when you should take uh, a nerve test. So when you get numbness and pain and feelingness in any, in any area of the body, I suppose, uh, you know, and hands and, and feet and, uh, uh, are some of the common ones uh, from what you said, um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. then you should go and see whether there's something wrong with your nerves. Yeah, especially if you get any kind of symptoms in your hands or feet. This is where the nerves get affected first. So even the slightest little tingle or numbness in your feet or your hands can really signal nerve damage that's coming on. Okay. Well, don't people say that when you get numb in your feet, let's say you sleep at night or uh, uh, in your hands, that, well, this is a matter of, of uh, bad circulation. Uh, what's the difference there? Well, you know, a lot of people think that, but any time you have a numb hand or foot, it's not circulation. It's usually the nerve being compressed somewhere or being pinched. I see. Well, all right. Well, um, I hope that this uh, video uh, helps uh, all the listeners. Is there anything else you would like to say, uh, uh, Dr. Beck? Um, anything you can add on it, um, which might be helpful? Well, the big thing is the sooner the better. Uh, again, we want to prevent permanent nerve damage, and the best way to do that is to get early nerve testing. All right. Good. Well, thanks a lot, Dr. Beck.